global warming may not only trigger heat waves and floods, it can also impact the future of Europe's lakes and wetlands, as can be seen here in Greece. This is what we call scum. It can be one centimeter thick on the top layer of the water. You can see it here. The lake will totally disappear. To help prevent such disasters in the near future, the EU has launched Eurolimpax. This pan-European project studies the combined effects of human activity and climate change on Europe's freshwater ecosystems. From hydrology, you can uh, take uh, valuable information about the quantity of water in uh, some catch in catchments and uh, quantity is necessary to study uh, the quality afterwards. And also it's uh, very important because with hydrology we can see some extreme inverts like floods, uh, what is uh, going to happen in the future. In Greece, Lake Chemadidita has been chosen as a trial site. Combined stress of agriculture, the use of fertilizers and climate change have dramatically affected the water resources. Here you can see how Lake Chemadidita uh, looked back in 1972. Uh, you can see that there is no reed bed uh, on the southeast, and you have three and uh, even four meters depth. Uh, now you have a very confined area of open water, which is no more than one third of the lake, and you have two thirds of the lake covered by reed bed. Eurolimpax will offer European decision makers a tool to evaluate the future of their fresh waters. This will help them to set up a more sustainable eco policy.